Okay, hello. All right, we are back again for some more The Way We All Go. All right, we're going to continue where we left off here, and uh, we met our uh, friend Achan here. Well, not Achan. Psh, that's who we are, the main character. What am I thinking? I'm re I'm, I was looking at the screen, reading it. Like, that's not who we, we met. <laughs> or we met the girl here, right here. Actually, I've forgotten her name. Shit, man, it has been a little bit since we left off. So... We met her in the park and we talked to her. So let's continue here. I'm sorry if I sound weird. I was just wondering. Maybe you don't like it here. Huh? Why wouldn't I like it? Well, I don't know. It's just, I know we were really good friends and when I left, I, I got worried. Maybe you were lonely. I was a little bit lonely, but I like being alone. I like drawing and walking in the forest, so I wasn't bored. Really? I, I know, and that's good. But I... I was talking to Amu earlier, and... Amu? I blinked, surprised. Even though she doesn't sound annoyed or raised her voice, it's still shocking. Noelle isn't the type of person who cuts others off while they're still talking. She always listens patiently until the end, replying only after she had enough time to fully process what they said. Something here isn't right. You don't like Amu? I don't dislike Amu. I never said that. But you don't talk to her, do you? That isn't the same as disliking her. That is simply... being incompatible with her. I guess. You're not very much alike. Yes. She's too loud. <laughs> She's too loud. I don't like... She's like, I don't like loud girls who are loud and noisy. <laughs> I know. I get it. She can be a pain sometimes. But she's still a good person. And? Is that why you went to see her? Because she's such a good person? Well, this expression isn't any different from usual. Her voice is the same as always. And yet, even so? There's an odd kind of intensity underneath her. Seemingly innocent query that makes me feel uncomfortable. It feels as though I'm being accused of committing a crime. <laughs> committing a crime. You have committed a crime. You cannot do that. I went to see her because she's my friend. That isn't bad, is it? Noella shakes her head. Then you don't mind if I see her, do you? It's been two years, you know. And there's a small silence. Before Namola shakes her head again. I don't mind. I think Abu is a nice person. Really? Yeah. She is nice. I feel a bit unnerved as Noelle's out of character questioning. But I try to shake the uncomfortable feeling away. It's probably just baseless paranoia. Noelle doesn't dislike Amu. She said... Oh, she said so herself. <laughs> that didn't want... <laughs> so I shouldn't worry about it. What did Amu say? What was it? Noelle's quiet voice draws me out of my thoughts. She sounds just like her usual self, which is comforting, but... I don't know if I want to keep talking about Amu. I'd rather drop it. Oh, we get to pick something here. We can tell her or drop the subject. Oh, let's let's just tell her. Why not? Well, let's continue our little conversation. Why not? Conflicted, I go along with Noelle's questioning. She just said you seemed a little lonely. Like, you don't talk to anyone. That's true. I don't. But 
I don't need to talk to people to have fun. <sighs> well, I'm glad about that. Yes. I do not like Amu. Back to Amu again. I shudder, my grip tightening unconsciously uncon around the metallic links of the swing. Does he think, like, they don't like each other or something? Or, or something? I mean, that doesn't seem like they really are friends or anything like that, but it definitely doesn't seem like she hates Amu or anything. Does he, like, want his friends to be friends? I mean, they don't have to be friends together. You can still be friends with each one of those without them having to be friends. It doesn't matter. It makes no difference. It doesn't stop Noel from talking. People like Amu, they are like fungus. Okay. They feed off others to survive. They can't exist by themselves. Something like that. I always found it extremely unpleasant. I still do. But I am not a fungus. I do not need to cling to others like that. Even without friends, I am able to cope by myself. I can. So... I don't want to be a person like Amu. A weak person. Oh, that is probably why. She, she considers Amu weak because of her personality. I think it comes to that. Maybe she, from what I'm getting, she's saying that Amu is not self-reliant. She needs others to feel comfortable. She can't really do things by herself, I'm thinking, is what she's trying to say. Or maybe emotionally weak, that Amu can't take it if no one is talking to her, or if she doesn't have friends or anything. She can't, couldn't survive without that um, interaction with others. I think that's what she's trying to say. I won't allow it. I will continue to be strong. I will not be like a fungus. I won't. Fungus? Isn't that a little harsh? Some fungi look beautiful. I draw sketches of them in the forest sometimes. Yeah, but... You compare a human to a fungus. It's... I wouldn't want to be a person like that. But that doesn't change the fact that some people are like that. I can't help it. And I can't help it either. Just because I never want to be like that, it doesn't mean I hate them. Well, he's just... I, I wouldn't say she's saying that she hates them. She's just saying that, in her mind, uh, they are weaker. As she said, a weak person. They're not as... They wouldn't be able to survive on their own type of thing last on their own, or any of that stuff. It just means I can't understand them. That makes sense too. It's... She doesn't, she doesn't understand their, their point of view of the world. It's, uh, it's boring to her. And with that, Noelle finishes her speech. Her pale hands clench together in her white lap, forming fists. Having spoken much more than she does usually, and all in one go, she falls silent. The atmosphere between us has suddenly become tense. When I remember the expression on Noelle's face when she spoke about Amu, I start to feel unnerved. Noelle said she doesn't hate Amu, but... Is that really true? Well... If she did hate Amu, why would she? I mean... Does she have a reasoning? I mean, if her reasoning is because she just thinks of her as being weak or any of that stuff, um, I think it's a, a stupid reason to hate her. Um, if she did hate her, it would be a totally different reason, I would, I would say. I don't know if I believe her. Once more, silence steals over us like a shroud. All I can hear is the sound of the wind through the trees. I wonder how long I've been out here, sitting on these swings with Noelle. Must have been quite a while by now. My fingers have gone so cold I can hardly feel them. How can Noelle be comfortable 
sitting out here like this, wearing that dress. Well, I think some of it might be that just maybe she's used to it. I mean, when you get used to something, you just get used to it. <laughs> I don't understand. She's always been a mysterious person. Hey. Acha? Hmm? What is it? I was thinking. As you're only going to be here for two more days, do you want to see me tomorrow? I look at Noella. She looks back at me. And just, what is she thinking? And what about Amu? Two days isn't very long, and I already told Amu I'd spend more time with her. But when Noella looks at me like that, with those large eyes, and I feel like it would be cruel to refuse her, well, you still have a whole day. I don't see how you couldn't split the day up. I mean, I don't know. I don't think you promised to spend the whole day or all the time with Amu. So you just say that you also said, promised to uh, spend some time with Noel, so you, you just gotta split your time between them. I end up giving a vague, non committable reply. It's too hard for me to say a simple yes or no. I don't want to upset anybody. I've always been indecisive like this. It's why I get into difficult situations. Blackie scolded me about it enough times. If you don't want to do something, just say no. Hey, I don't think we've seen. Have we seen what Saki looks like? We've only seen. We've only seen some dialogue with Saki over the phone. I think it was. But I'm assuming this is an outline of what she's supposed to be. She looks like she might be a cutie. I thought she was supposed to be tomboyish. Or maybe I was totally, or maybe it was totally not that. No, 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 that, that wasn't. Maybe it was the other girl. She was, she was into goth stuff. That's what it was. That's what it was. And and other scary stuff. That's that's what it was. So maybe that's the outline fits her a little bit more. I think. I was, I was thinking the wrong girl. Maybe was it Amu who was a little more tomboyish? Ah, uh, uh, whatever. Forget about that shit. <laughs> Tried to remember some of the some of the other characters. It's not going to kill you, you know. Well, that's what she always says, anyway. I should try and be stronger. One day, I'm sure I'll manage it. But right now... Acha? No. It's not the time. I can't believe this. I feel exhausted, and it's only 10.30 p.m. The sound of Saki's voice, slightly distorted through whatever wires that are connecting our phones together, makes me relax. My body slumped, boneless, against the wooden floor in the hallway of my grandparents' home. Today was such a busy day. Becoming reacquainted with all the familiar sights from my old life was fun, yes, but also disorientating, as though I've gone back in time. It almost made me forget, for a while, that I even have a life in the city to go back to. The new friends who are waiting for me, relying on me. Would it really be, would you still really be considering them new friends? Right? You, you can just say friends because you've been there for a while now. Friends like Saki. My face is flushed with heat from my bath, my hair is sticky to my forehead and damp tendrils from pondweed. Like, but like pondweed. And just like yesterday, I ran the bath slightly too high and stayed in for far too long, and my body is suffering from it. I feel strangely weak, like a newborn kitten. And the coolness of the wooden floorboards under my bare legs and pins and needles through my body making me shiver. I wiggle my toes, and there's still a solid physical part of my body. Trying to distract myself from uncomfortable sensations rippled up through the pads of my feet. I asked Saki a question. Did you have a busy day? It's not even that. It wasn't busy since I didn't have anywhere to go or anybody to see, but it was exhausting. My siblings sure know how to shout. I'll say that for them. Saki groans. I can almost hear her stretching from here. Cracking her joints at her wrists and ankles. Well, that's something Saki does a lot. 
much to the irritation of our teachers. She's always cracking her wrists, especially during exams when we're supposed to be silent. I think she just has a morbid fascination with human bodies. She is one of the best in our year at biology, after all, and anybody that generally intrigued by internal organs and dead animals must have some appreciation for the macabre. macabre? Is that what that's supposed to be? I'm not sure what... Appreciation for the macabre. Nothing's coming to mind what that's supposed to mean. I'm not sure. Are they still watching Hitty? No. They've moved on from that now. Then they sh Then shouldn't you be happy? I would be. If they hadn't graduated to... What is that supposed to say? T Y L T Y L and M Y T Y L. What? How would you pronounce those? My tile, tie, like, tile? Can you even? Is is there even a pronunciation for those? <laughs> or is it just saying letters? In the show about the bluebird, the very one, Taki size. And if I ever see that damn bluebird of happiness, I'm going to wring its neck. <laughs> wring that bluebird's neck. Er, 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 die bluebird of happiness. <laughs> How cruel. Making somebody watch that show for hours on end is the truly cruel thing. I've had that opening song stuck in my head all day. It's a nice song. It's annoying. I'm going crazy here. I think I'm regressing. <laughs> Almost in unison, as though time, the two of us yawn. Despite the heavy bags under her eyes, I don't know if I've heard Saki yawn like that before. She has too much pride to display her weakness so openly. Jeez. Tired at 10.30pm? I feel like I need putting to bed and tucking up. How pathetic. For a girl who loves the gothic so much, going to sleep so early must be nothing short of indignity. I can't think, off the top of my head, of many vampires with a strict 10.30pm curfew. I'm worried Vlomalad is going to pick up bad habits from all the asinine children's anime he's been subjugated to. Important thing. Vlad? Is that one of your siblings? His name is Vlad? Or is he talking about something else? Vlad, being Saki's- Okay, okay, okay. I was like, it can't be one of her, her, her siblings named Vlad. Vlad, being Saki's interestingly named pet. Bunch of Riker? I'm not sure what that is. Pet Budger Riker. Now he's coming to mind on what that's supposed to be. What kind of pet that is. What kind of bad habits could a budgie pick up? I'm not sure what a budgie is. What the hell's a budgie? Well, I'm not sure. I've been trying to teach him to say a few things. Like, I am but a bird in a cage, so it's a bird, okay. And what is the nature of man? But it hasn't been going so well. So it must is a breed of bird. Okay. I've no, no idea what it is. Because Vlad is a budgie, not a parrot. <laughs> Budgies can't talk. <laughs> She's been trying to teach a bird that supposedly can't talk to talk. Oh, but he'll learn to talk. Don't worry, he's going to be the first one. I, I know that, but I just thought, if I tried hard, maybe we could make some kind of progress. If we try hard enough, he will learn to talk. There was a TV show on the other day with uh, talking cats, wasn't there? Those were real. You really believe that those cats were talking? <laughs> I think I remember that. 
And I watched that show with my mother after dinner, thinking it would be something charming, but in the sight of those house cats purring out things that vaguely sounded like human speech and oddly low, the <laughs> tones was actually quite frightening. It wasn't cute or refreshing at all. Instead, it just made me think, has science gone too far? But cats and budgies are still pretty different. More different than budgies and parrots. If I keep making an effort, I'm sure it'll work out eventually. I think either the your budgie will die before that happens, or you will just give up. If my siblings will stop watching that crappy kids anime while I'm trying to teach him, that is. It's stunning as girls. I think stunted might be a good term for poor Vlad this in general. Vlad, the budgie. Living in a home filled with very noisy children really has taken a toll on the old bird. Last time I went to Saki's house, Vlad didn't do anything other than cower in one corner of his cage, trembling. Oh shit! <laughs> that sounds awful. I'm, I'm just imagining that bird Vlad sitting in the corner, going <laughs> scared, you know, feathers falling out. <laughs> anyway, Saki, I'm calling because um. I bought you a present. The ghoulie instantly vanished from Saki's tone. Now, she sounds genuinely intrigued. Oh? You did? Hmm. I bought it from an antique store. I think you'll like it. Ah. An antique? I do have a passion for the old and the rustic. It is true. Although she's trying to sound cool, I can tell she's excited. If I could see Saki right now, I'm sure she'd be smiling. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Huh? No, of course not. That would ruin the surprise. What's the point in buying somebody a present if you tell them what it is? Well, this was priced as part of the appeal. I should have known. I laugh, shaking my head. Beads of water drip down my forehead at the slight motion, falling from the tips of my nose. Talking to Saki, my last link back to my new life, really is relaxing. And yet, at the same time, I can't quite shake the mounting feeling of dread nestled in the pit of my stomach. It's about Noel. Ever since I saw her in the park this evening, I haven't been able to stop thinking about her. Hey, Acha? Hmm? Saki's voice sounds oddly light, a little more reserved than usual without a single trace of cynicism. Is she worried about me? I was wondering, how are you finding it, being back at your old home? It's not too awkward, is it? Well, I... I pause, pondering. I'm still thinking about Noelle. I cast my mind back to the sign outside of Noelle's home. The sign that read in letters clear as day. For sale. Noelle is moving. She's not going to stay here much longer, and I... I don't know why or where she's going. I can't help but worry. That's what I do. I'm good at worrying. It's my special skill. His special skill is being a worrywart. Just like Amu is good at baseball, and Noelle is good at drawing. And Saki is good at telling the most horrific ghost stories. I'm good at worrying. It's not like a particularly useful skill. In fact, it gets me into far more trouble than it's worth. But it's a part of me, I suppose, and without it, the me I am now would cease to exist. Can I tell Saki about my anxiety, though? To begin with, these worries are so vague and nebulous, I'm not entirely sure what they're about myself. Besides, Saki already has her hands full with taking care of her own rowdy siblings. I don't want to be a further burden upon her. I've already shared my worries with Saki in the past. Far too many times to count. If I didn't have Saki to tut and roll her eyes, bringing me back down to reality, I don't know if I'd be able to cope with all the residue. Well, related guilt that keeps creeping up on me. Is it really fair to keep relying on her like this? I just don't know. We'll tell her. 
Oh, she's your friend. Why couldn't you? should be totally, even if you shouldn't really feel that you're relying on them too much. They're your freaking friends, man. If you have some issues, you shouldn't be worried. Oh, I'm going to be too much of a burden. I think they'll be totally willing to listen. It's not like she's got to do anything. Well, I shuffle around, trying to get comfortable. I think I might be fighting a losing battle, though. My back is pressed up against the wall, and I'm starting to get a cramp in my legs. Today, I... I saw one of my friends. Noelle. I'm the quiet one who likes drawing. Well, that's right. The one you still haven't sent a letter to, even though I kept telling you to be for the best. Uh, um... I squirm, my face flushing. One thing I appreciate about Saki is that she never minces her words. She means everything she says. However, this can be a curse as well as a blessing. Saki's been on my case to write to Noella for the last two years ever since I told her I hadn't done it. Praying to Saki, ignoring a girl who was supposed to be my best friend for such a long time is bad form. Completely cold and callous and ungallant. I tried to counter, seeing I wasn't all that gallant to begin with. And Saki rolled her eyes and said, it's the principle of the thing. No, I... I never did write to her. Well, at least you gotta talk to her. That's better than nothing. Yeah, I... I suppose. I can't imagine she was too impressed to see you, though. What do you mean? I mean, left without saying goodbye and you ignored her for two whole years. I do wonder if she has some sort of bottled up feelings for that. You know, it would be s it's totally odd and... I don't know why Noella couldn't have just, you know, I'm assuming he knows where his grandparents lived. If she really wanted to try to get in contact with him, she probably could have asked, you know, the grandparents, like, hey, where did he move to? Can you give me, you know, his address so I can write him a letter or the number I can call him at? But then again, she is, she's, as I said before, she's kind of a shy girl or one who doesn't really like interacting, so I guess... That's kind of a, maybe she did, maybe want, have a feeling of wanting that, to do that at some point. But, her purse, the way she is, just wouldn't let her, maybe. That kind of streaming goes to sting, got a sting. I wouldn't be surprised if she was holding a grudge. Well, um, I, I thought that might be the case too, but she seemed to take it rather well. Then she's the kind of person that I am. Either that or she's a really good liar. No, it doesn't tell lies. She isn't that kind of person. But you were thinking that maybe she wasn't telling you the full truth earlier, though. That she hated Amu or not. So you do have that in the back of your mind that maybe... Maybe... She hides some stuff and doesn't tell you full truths on some things. Or skirts around the truth by telling you just other words that aren't really lies. But also, not exactly the truth either. Maybe she isn't the kind of person to tell a lie maliciously, but if it's a little white lie to save your self esteem, who knows? Maliciously, she's not gonna tell malicious lies to you! Maybe she thought you'd feel bad if she scolded you, so she tried to brush her own feelings under the rug. I. well, um. maybe? Maybe she was upset with me. Unless she's some kind of saint, I'd say there's a decent chance. Like, 99% or so. It's that high, huh? Well, I can't say. I've never met your friend before. Everything I know about her I've learned through you, and second-hand accounts are never as reliable as first-hand experience. But if I were in her shoes, then... I would be mad at you, Acha. No matter how frail and little you are, I'd be really, really mad. <laughs> I'll try not to get you, get your bad side then, Saki. See to it that you don't. I'm rather good at holding grudges. I feel a shiver creep down my spine. I don't doubt that at all. Given all the gory movies Saki's seen, I bet she has a great deal of knowledge on exactly how to settle those grudges, too. Maybe that's why she didn't want to tell me. 
Maybe she was mad at me. Tell you what. Oh, um. I went by her house today. And I noticed in front of uh, her front garden. There was a for sale sign. I think she might be moving. Huh? Now, that is interesting. Yeah. I thought so too. I was really shocked, but um... I draw my knees up underneath my chin, wrapping my arms around them. I balance the phone in the crock of my neck, pressed between my ear and my shoulder. I tried to ask Noelle about it, but she didn't really tell me all that much. Alma never told me in her letters either. It all feels like some big conspiracy. Maybe she didn't tell you because she didn't want to talk about it. It might be a painful subject. I mean, you never told Noelle you were moving either, did you? I... that's true. Well, that thought has crossed my mind. Then don't feel upset that she didn't want to confide in you. It has been two years since you last spoke to one another, after all. She might have felt too awkward. Hmm, I did think. Maybe it would be hypocritical to complain. I try not to pry too much, even though I wanted to know more. Well, it's a start. Based on how you treated her, I don't know if you have any right to start demanding answers. Uh... You sound like you think I'm a bad person, Saki. I don't think you're bad. Not really. In all honesty, I... Saki swallows. I can hear it through the other end of the line. I like you. I think you're a sweet person and thoughtful, too. <laughs> so that's what that little pause there was kind of for. Where she was. <laughs> to get the I like you out there. <laughs> You certainly worry about others a lot, but at the same time, I think you can also be quite self-centered. Self-centered? Mm, with all the fretting, I mean, I know you can't help it, it's just part of who you are, but sometimes you worry so much that it stops you from doing the right thing. The thing that you know you should do. Like saying goodbye to Noelle. Like keeping in contact with her. Like being a good friend. I will agree that, you know, if you really cared for Noelle as much as he did, or liked her as much, or whatever, why? It was really stupid of him to not say goodbye, or any of that stuff. I slumped down against the wall, and it's definitely, it's definitely been, it's been torturing him for years. You, you can definitely tell that. He still can't get over it. I slumped down against the wall, curled up by myself in a ball. My hair is still damp, but not as much as before. I think the after effects of the sauna like soak and after beginning to wear off. I. I think you're right. I'm sorry, Saki. Hey, you don't need to apologize to me. You've never hurt me like that before. That. That's right. Saki wants the one I hurt, wasn't the one I hurt. No, she wasn't. <laughs> Noelle's the one you pretty much hurt. You hurt her emotionally, probably. Whether she's willing to admit it or not, she probably was hurt. It was Noelle. And now I'm going to have to pay the price, whatever that price may be. Well, I think you've already, already, in a way, have already paid some of that price by it always torturing you, tugging at your heart and everything, it seems. Beating your mind about it all the time, beating yourself up on it. You, you definitely haven't forgotten. It's definitely haunted you. So I, I think you've paid some price on it. I, um, I hope I haven't bothered you anyway. Huh? Well, of course you haven't bothered me. Why would you think that? Because, um, uh, I don't know. Listening to my worries must be quite boring. And I don't want to be a pain. You're not a pain. If anything, I'm glad you confided me. You are? Yeah. I'm dying for some proper company. 
I've been surrounded by children for the last two days, and I don't know if I can take it anymore. My sanity points are taking a serious hit. <laughs> I'll try to hurry back as soon as possible then. Yes, please do. Otherwise, there may be a massacre. It's really that bad? It's not just bad. It's awful. I'm at the end of my rope here. <laughs> Apparently she cannot handle her little... Her little... Sisters or brothers or whatever? Her brothers or sisters or whatever? Siblings. I don't know if they've ever mentioned if they're brothers or sisters. Her siblings. She can't handle them. The little kids. Watching little kid shows all the time. Some of those little kid shows. I don't think I could handle watching those either. I'd probably go crazy. They're stupid as hell. Well, just try to hold on a little longer. I'll be back in two days. Only two days, huh? I'll mark it on my calendar. Laka laughs that dry. Humorless laugh of hers. Although it's only been a couple days, I think I miss Saki too. I never really realized before, given we spent so much time together over the last two years, but her sardonic sense of humor and sarcastic asides really do help keep me going. I really do appreciate her. And I rely on her too. More than I ever thought. Uh I blink in surprise, pressing a hand against my cheek. It feels warm, and I don't think it's from the bath. I'm blushing. He's blushing. <laughs> maybe he's come to the realization that... Maybe he actually likes Saki a little bit more. Maybe he's finally hit a little realization that, you know what? He, he really likes hanging out with Saki more than he really thought that. <laughs> Nope, he's in his futon. Well, guys, I think that we can end off at this spot right here. We'll end this off here, and, uh, yeah. We'll just we'll end it off here, yeah. Sounds like a, a de an alright spot. We got over, we finished off our conversation on the phone with Saki, which was most of that recorded, pretty much. A pretty long conversation there. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for watching this, and you all have a great day.